Welcome back in Jazz, ahlan wa sahlan, assalamu alaikum, your ninja Muhammad with another Daemon PS2 Promulator test, <coughs> having Epega PG1999 and Redmi K30 5G version with the Snapdragon 765. Check this out. Boom. Anyway, uh, let's move on. You can have the buying links in the description to purchase all these products, support my channel, shop online, uh, Gearbest, Banggood, Aliexpress with my links, CECT shop. Uh, anyway, I got this one from the CCT shop, 8GB uh, variant, I'm having the most expensive version of the Redmi K30. So this is after the updates, oh my god, what a kind of a horrible performance this device had with the previous version of the MIUI. Something uh, Xiaomi completely messed up, slash Redmi, and they fixed that problem with the with just one single update ninjas. Oh my god, the performance in gaming was 50% slower, can you believe it? Especially in emulator. Okay, not that much in Android games, but in emulators. Come on, come on, come on. One minute each, I'm not gonna bother you too much. You can check more gameplays on my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, this game is running really good. Oh, slow down. What was that? Some small lag. We are back to normal. All of them. Easy peasy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Remember that this uh, emulator is not optimized for mid-range chipsets. It's running really horrible uh, on mid, even on flags like Snapdragon 845. It's not that impressive even on Snapdragon 845. Again, the Snapdragon 845, it is better than this chipset in the emulators. Pokemon F1, it will easily beat this uh, device in gaming purposes. What am I doing? What am I doing, bro? Whew. Ah, that's amazing weapon. Let's go next. Crash Bandicoot. You need, for this game, you need Snapdragon A55, ninjas. You need Snapdragon A55 for this game to pl uh, be super playable. Oh. Let's try to change here the settings. Let's see, what is it? It's on the fastest frame rate. Let's go with the best compatible option. What the? Is, this looks better? Wow, looks better, bro. Oh, I almost got him. Okay, yo. Here we go. Now, for the end, let's choose here the restore settings to default. Save and exit. Nope, I think these settings are... You win. Round two. Not that good, not that good. Fight. Best compatibility is the best setup for the Tekken 5 here for this chipset. Again, still not playable. Like I said here, this emulator is not optimized for mid-range chipsets. Anyway, my salam and see you till next time. The buying links are in the description.